I've been just, like, on this menu listening to the music for the past minute. And I like it. It has inspired some for form of emotion. Maybe that emotion is just fungus, I'm not sure, but welcome, everybody. Welcome to the video of a game called Fungus Reaper. This is a, a gift from my mod, Great Sphinx, who tends to know what kind of games I like. And I was gonna do, um, Robocop, but I'm gonna do that soon, because I, I don't have a whole lot of time at the moment. So, let's check out Fungus Reaper. It's mushroom-themed, which is always good. Alright, what button is it to read? I guess we don't need to do that. But what the hell is this game? Huh. Scareling? Enemies left 10. Wait, what's going on here? Oh, I have a teleport. And the scarecrows block the way. Oh, okay. Interesting. So I'm getting... There's like a rogue light. Oh god, see now I'm getting that confused. No, it's a, a rogue... Rogue-like movement system with like a necrodancer kind of thing going on here. And, uh... It's interesting, so far. But yeah, the whole move and enemies move when you move kind of thing, that's, that's very rogue-like. The it, original rogue. And the original definition of rogue-like. Kind of thing. Where's my scarecrows? Choose a reward. Uh... Handling or cuteling? I'm gonna go for the handling. Well, the cuteling has attacks, actually. Um, grabs enemies, hits in a line. Let's level get the cuteling, then. There's an enemy in here? Oh my god. Oh my god, what a shit show that was. This has four reviews on Steam, by the way, so... I'm... playing... basically, we're, we're in uncharted territory. Hmm. Don't know the best way to move around. I also didn't use my teleport. Make a soup. Stir soup. Drink soup. Upgrades gained. I need more mushlings in order to upgrade anything. Okay. Okay, so I need to use my teleport a whole lot more. A whole new area here. I don't even know how Sphinx found this game. Oh, you can wait out the clock. I wonder if there's a way to make that happen instantly. Because that would help. Tremendously, actually. Mm. Shoots a bullet that pierces. Choose plant teleport. That's it. That's... That's it, basically. Good. Screw 
that one right up. I had no idea it did that. My teleport juice is now out. Tankling. Whoa, hidden enemy. Why does that fire right away? I don't want it to fire right away. That's weird. Yeah, some of these enemies seem a little tough to deal with right away. You heal six or you upgrade. You gain five more health but lose a random mushling. I lost the tankling. I wish there was a way to make that, like, not happen. Hmm. Okay, I'm still not grasping 100%, but I like the concept. Shoots a bullet that pierces. Oh, I don't have to place right away. Oh, that's why. And you need like some proper planning. This this is a cool game. I'm into this. I like seeing new indie game concepts, or at least twists on familiar concepts. Now I know this video isn't gonna have me saying things like skibbity. Nor am I going to be doing the the voice, <laughs> but you know, oh that's a, okay. We don't want to go anywhere near those things. Um, but you know, I like to. One of the reasons I like these pre-records so much is I actually get to just play a game and just try to see what the game is. But yeah, I know it's not as, like, mimetic of a- of a thing. Um, and I hope that's okay for most of you. Well, it doesn't really matter, because there's- there's plenty of other meme stuff. Um, I should note that the holidays have been really busy, and I don't have any pre-records other than this one, and maybe Robocop if I get to it. So there's gonna be a couple days without pre-records. That's gonna probably happen a little more often, I think. You know, when I have the time and there's games that interest me, of course I'm going to do pre-records. But on the occasion that, you know, shit's busy, um, or I'm just in a, a headspace where I just don't feel like I would be good at commentary, because the chat does help. I mean, people in the chat. Huh. You deal one more damage, but you lose four max health. That's fine. People in the chat are able to add to the commentary. I know that. And it inspires me to be a little more wacky and stuff. So on an off day, you know, I could always just kind of let the chat be silly. Uh, oh god, uh, we are almost dead. I need more mushlings, where are they? Why only two? Jump over to spawn webs. Wow. 
I don't even know how I survived that, but that was that was good. Um, but yeah, there there's gonna be times where I just don't feel like it's gonna be as good, and I won't do a pre-record then. But you know, if it's just me checking out a game that seems cool, I, I always enjoy that. Jump over to shoot a bullet in the direction of you. Okay, that's an interesting one. Be a key for those. Oh, I see the key. doesn't count as a turn. Next run, you get one more health. Okay. What a strange video game this is. I was listening to a podcast with uh, Keanu Reeves' band. It's a uh, Michael Rosenbaum podcast. I don't know if that's his... That might be how you say his name. Um, I've only listened to a couple episodes. He had Riker on. And that was a good one. But Keanu is just Johnny Silverhand. Especially in the context of him and his band. Like, he's just that kind of guy. You know, he talks real kind of slow-like. And then he... has a... a thing, an expression. And he makes a little joke. And it's usually pretty funny. But it's funny in a reserved way. He's also a little bit nerdy. Like, he's a little... Uh, he's a little lame. But I mean that as a compliment. Like, he makes, like, a silly joke and does a silly laugh. I don't know how to explain it, but you know what? I like Keanu. I know that's a controversial opinion. And I know that, uh, the Chungus Man, as some would call him, it's almost a meme to think he's cool and wholesome and nice. But I, I actually kind of really like the guy. And he's kind of just Johnny Silverhand. You get teleport a whole lot more than I thought you did. But yeah, my health is a little bit scummy right now. Interesting. Snipling. Big bullet mushroom run. Listen, I for one am a fan of mushrooms being in more video games. 
I wasn't a talking mushroom. See, I guess I'm doing some of the impressions. I got the Chungus Man. Yeah. yeah. And that one dies pretty easily. However, this is not a bad combo. Triggers all jump over effects. Interesting. Fuck that right up. and lose two max health. how like you can't just jump over mushrooms and expect that to be enough to win the game Damn, I should use my teleport. Yeah, the mushrooms. Gotta be careful with those, because it's not just those, those are supposed to be there to help a bit. Set your teleport. Jump over to pull enemies from the side. Probably not great placement either. All right, that was a lot better. But yeah, mushroom placement also seems like a thing that you have to focus on a bit. Oh boy, a wacky number. 
It's not that wacky of a number. Just not gonna fight that enemy. Gain another random mushling. It's weird. I, for some reason, I couldn't place that fly down. Crazy shit happening here. Alright, down to three health. Jump over to reset or tankling. Is it possible to have too many mushlings? Pierces, so it's like good bullet. Bullet. That worked out. Surprisingly well. Gain five more health, but lose a random mushling. Which one went? The tankling, I think, went. Ah, oh, I like the tankling. Why? What is? What is that? Why? I just lost so much health. Boy, some of these enemies just explode on you killing them, which is not great, and I'm dead. Most enemies cannot damage you from the side. Most. Next run, you get two more health, and you start with a random mushling. Okay, try again. I don't know who that fellow was. There was I, that fellow got me killed because I tried to kill him. Whoa, who's this? Was that? It's a mushroom man. Dr. Ling, when hurt, drop an apple anywhere on the board. 
Jump over to heal itself and one friend in front. I don't know if I don't know if I like those apples. Reduce cooldown of friends around it. Hey. I don't know why I'm doing that. Uh, it looks like it's saved because this floor it was where I left off. I think. Nah, not worth getting that apple. Reduce the cooldown of friends or heals you when destroyed. No, this is still floor two. It's just weird that you start some random goon goon store. It's just, if you can't get the apples before the round ends, you don't get them. When hurt, they hit back. Get the apples too. I somehow missed that part of it. Oof. Not great. There was something I thought just happened there. You deal one more damage, that sounds great. I saw some weird tile. How the fuck do you hurt that enemy without taking damage? Shit. Upgrades attack of the friend down below. does so much damage. Mm. 
Damn. Oh, man. Yeah, there's there's a lot more strategy that goes into this than one would expect right away. Well, I mean, you kind of sense it's that type of game from the beginning. Reduce cooldown if you teleport and heal one health. I like that. So it's not like I didn't expect some level of strategy to have to go into this, but... Many mushlings. Tr choose one to remove. Oh. Jump over to heal itself and one friend in front. Jeez. Okay, this looks like a hard enemy. another rabbit. God damn it. <laughs> when hurt explodes, drop spikes on the line below. Ow. I'm suboptimally mushrooming right now. game though uh this is this is very interesting video game probably needs some more stuff i mean this game just came out it's only got four reviews but i think the concept is awesome and does a good job combining a number of different things into one thing and it has its own little unique vibe to it as well which i like so yeah i'd, I'd recommend it I think it's pretty cheap, too. We're gonna find out in just a second. Love the acoustic guitar and bass combo. Um, November 19, 2023. Four reviews. Again, I don't even know how Sphinx found this. But I think um, so far I'd recommend it. If this seems good to you, it's only four. At, at the moment it's on sale. I hope it still will be by the time this video comes out. But it's only like four fifty. It seems reasonable. That's the kind of mushroom action I like to see. That might have been my worst Keanu ever. Let's 
tragic that that mushroom could heal others but not himself. It reminds me of that tragedy. The one of Darth Plagueis the Wise. You ever heard of the tragedy of Darth Plagueis the Wise? in the game. When hurt, they hit back. I remember never to touch that mushroom. be nice if there was an instant clock button. I mean, it's only like, you're only waiting a couple seconds, but you know, you know, for speed runs, not because I'm an impatient gamer or anything like that. No, for speed runs. But speed run, baby, the speed. I guess I did do the voices today. Isn't that weird? For the speed run, baby, please. It was for the speed run, baby. That healing mush is fantastic. I don't know what the strategy is for defeating the thing that, um... ...that, uh, explodes. Oh, that's what that is. <laughs> okay, here's this... what it seemed like a shop earlier. It's not really a shop, is it? Bunny reproduces many bunny. That is a problem. I don't know what to do with this wizard. I I'm just gonna not fuck with the wizard. Thank you. 
Not getting any extra mushlings. very least creating like a like a tank area like this is good because it holds off enemies for a while and allows you to deal deal with them a little more effectively oh, there's a heart okay so hearts could be in there I was wondering about that That's a problem. here somehow. <sighs> Gotta go for the bunnies as quickly as possible. Ooh. Also, I would like the dumplings to be destroyed so I can heal. So maybe I should put dumpling closer to enemy. or crows teleport. Interesting. Boysenlings. Those are pretty good, actually. That kind of saved my ass a couple times. Thank you. 
man. Even just those little bunny fellas. Damn. Well, okay, healing the boysenlings is, is pretty... It's pretty great. Heals you when destroyed. I, I, I like those. Oof. Okay. Uh... Shit. Elden Ring Jar Lads? Wow, excellent. I think I shouldn't be putting them this low. Die, fly. <sighs> okay, those ravens kind of hang out for a little bit. You have to remove mushlings? Okay. Uh, shit, I really like this combination. Yeah, I didn't want to get rid of any of those, but I think the, the nature of the game is that you must... You must get rid of... way to deal with those. Down to two health. enemies. I know, I haven't gone for every enemy. <laughs> Explodes on death. Disarmed by jumping on it. How do you jump on it? Do one more really all I have time for, unfortunately, but I think this is actually genuinely great. I can see people getting really into this. I don't know what the end game looks like. Like, I don't know what this is all leading towards, and I don't know if it's gonna continue getting updates, but the concept is sound, and I like these little fellas a lot. Gotta stop walking into mushrooms, that's all. There are deadly mushrooms on the field and I'm just walking into them. Let me smell your dick. No, Robocop! Drop spikes on the line below.
Okay, the spikes can help. If you magnetically bring enemies into the spikes, that could help even more. Okay, well, also probably want to try to keep that fellow alive. Maybe the dumpling would be useful. can continue to create spikes. See, this is where the, the fucking real shit comes in with a game like this. So we want to place the dumpling here. Probably, you know what, we can just do that. Mental. I think it's just placing spikes randomly, though, so... Placing that there is the best move. But... We'll see how it plays out. Yeah, not really. I think keeping the spike dude safe is probably the best, str best strategy I have at the moment. Reduce... Oh yeah, the teleport reduction is excellent. Alright, so we're gonna start with this. like that, but then I land on a spike. You have to combo with a mushroom to get the fire ants without taking damage. It's, uh, yeah. It, it, it sucks. It sucks. I knew the flies would not want to, uh, would not be affected by the spikes, but somehow I was just kind of curious anyway. Um...
Don't. Jesus. Drop spike to the line below. Atta upgrades attack of the friend down below. I, you know, I have an idea. I don't know if it's going to work, but I'm going to try it. I need some more attack also. I, I seem to have forgotten about the attack upgrades. Kinda. I'm not gonna attack that enemy. Um, you deal one more damage, but you lose max health. That's fine. I need that extra damage. Good risk reward in this game as well. Fuck. Jump over to heal itself and one friend in front, or jump over to shoot a bullet. We can try double bullet. I don't know. Bullet mushrooms I'm not so sure about at the moment. I'm not really feeling them. manage too many things and I'm not skilled enough to do so. I have really good teleport time. sucked. Those things fucking exploded. Oops, 
still not fully. Oh shit! Um, I'm not fully utilizing the. Uh... Could this be it? The the magnet. God damn it. All right. All right. Well, uh. Okay, so again, really good game. If you're into this sort of thing, if you like rogue likes, if you like, um. You know, Crypt of the Necro Dancer, you might like Fungus Reaper. And for only like 450. So, not bad. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you all fung with great success.